Get your music library right. Let's be real. Keeping up with your music library can be a real pain in the ass. Creating playlists, keeping up with trends, sourcing music, and staying organized takes a whole lot of time and effort. What if there's a way to streamline that process? Well, luckily it's 2025 and we have a solution for that. It's called Lexicon DJ, and it's a really awesome tool to help you manage your music library. Lexicon DJ offers a really cool list of features to help you manage your music library. Let's take a look at the software and see what it does really well and what it could work on. When you first open Lexicon DJ, you're going to immediately notice that it is going to take you some time to learn the program. On the left side of the screen are all of your management tools, and at the top is a player so that you can test out your tracks and set cue points. Just below the player, you have your library that you import from your DJ software and its associated playlists. The way the program works is you import your database from your DJ software. To do so, all you have to do is click on the sync tab and in the bottom left hand corner you'll see a button that says import tracks and playlists. When you click that you're brought to a screen where you can select what DJ software you're importing your library from. In that screen you have the option to import your complete library or you can just choose a few selected playlists. You can also choose to make a backup of your library or merge your library with an existing one already in Lexus. Once you make all your selections, all you have to do is click start importing and ta-da! you have music in Lexicon. Once you have your library imported, you can get to work on getting it all tidied up. The very first tab in the top left of the program is what you click to look at all of your playlists and all of your tracks. In this section is where you can add, delete, edit, or merge playlists. If you right click on a playlist, a menu will pop up with options. At the bottom, you'll see playlist tools, and in that menu, you'll be able to make changes to your playlists. My favorite tool is Playlist Merge. That's where you can take multiple playlists and merge them into one massive playlist. I find this super useful, especially because I make genre specific mixes and often have multiple crates of the same genre. Having the ability to merge all those crates is super useful and I love it. When you right click on a playlist, you also have access to the track tool submenu. This is how you edit your tracks in bulk. You can find tags in album art, generate cue points, or discover new tracks. You also have access to track tools when you right click on an individual track, but when you do, you'll notice that you have an extra option. It says find mixable tracks, and it's a tool in Lexicon that lets you scan your entire DJ library to find tracks that match with the song that you right clicked on. When you choose to find a mixable track, a window pops up that lets you set parameters like BPM difference, or you can choose a specific genre. As cool as this feature sounds, I didn't find it to work all that well. I used Cotton Eye Joe for testing. I selected a plus or minus 3% difference in BPM and the genre I wanted to mix Cotton Eye Joe with was Big Room. Lexicon came back with no results. I have over 185,000 songs in my music library and not one Big Room edit popped up. I would imagine I have one Big Room edit within 3% of Cotton Eye Joe's BPM that I could use to mix with Cotton Eye Joe, but according to Lexicon, I do not. Whack. The next tab is the Tag Finder and Custom Tag Creator. I think, I, I don't really know what it's called, but I do know what it does. In this tab, you can click on a tag and find all the songs that have that tag. You also have the option to create your own unique custom tag. The one caveat is you do have to manually tag every track that you want tagged individually in order for those songs to populate when you search for them through this feature. To do that, you go to your playlist and you'll see a column that says custom tag. Click on the track and then double click on that column blank space and a window will pop up with all the custom tags that you've created and the ones that Lexicon has created for you. All you have to do is tag your songs with the appropriate tag, click done, and you're good to go. I can see how this could be super useful, but it is ridiculously tedious when you have a library like mine. However, if you're starting from scratch, I can see how this could make organizing and finding tracks a lot easier. Next is a sync tab, which we already talked about, but we only covered half of its functionality. Once you have your library set up the exact way that you want it, all you have to do is go to your sync tab and you can sync your library back to your DJ program. But you also have the option to sync your library to a completely different DJ program. For example, I'm converting to DJ Pro and I needed my Serato library in DJ Pro. So all I had to do was import my Serato library to Lexicon and then export it to DJ Pro and voila, I now have all my playlists in DJ Pro. Yes! And the best part is you can convert to every major DJ software. The next tab down is just a tab to let you know that you can download a mobile app for either Android or iOS to manage your music library on the go. I find it weird that they included that 
instead of just doing a pop-up or something when you open the program, but either way, it's there. The next tab is the Smart Fixes tab, and this is where you can fix metadata in your tracks. You can do things like fix casing, which will take a track that has all capital letters in its title, and Lexicon will redo the title with proper capitalization. You can also do things like remove number prefixes from tracks. All the tools in this tab are awesome to help keep your library uniform and neat. Nice. The next feature is the Track Matcher. With this tool, you can import a URL from Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Tidal, or YouTube, and the program will scan your library and see if you have any of those songs in those playlists currently in your library. You can also import a CSV or text file. So if you have a friend that's a DJ and they played a set that you absolutely loved and you wanted to have it, they could literally export their history to you. You can import that history into Lexicon and see if you have any of the tracks that they played in your library. Not only does Lexicon help with maintaining your library, but it also includes charts with links to purchase the songs in the charts. Some of the charts included are from Billboard, Shazam, and Apple Music. Let's say you have a playlist on Spotify and you wanna purchase the songs in that playlist. Well, Lexicon totally has you covered. All you need is the link from your Spotify playlist. Once you put that URL into Lexicon, it'll populate the tracks with links to various different sources to purchase those tracks. This also works with links from Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud, and YouTube. And in the last tab, we have the library statistics section. Here, you can see just how many songs you have in your library, how many playlists that you've actually created, and other information like your most played artists. And finally, we have the utility section, which is located in the toolbar at the top of the program. In this section, you have the ability to find duplicates, broken files, lost tracks, and unused files. I found these utilities particularly useful because I had a ton of duplicates and even more music that I have never played. The duplicate finder works really, really well. It will go through your entire library and find every single duplicate that you have. You can go through each individual song and pick which version you want to keep or you can let Lexicon do it for you. Lexicon will automatically select the file with the highest bit rate cue points, or the most plays. I do have some gripes with Lexicon though. For one, you cannot search your library for an individual track. You can search for playlists, but I could not find a way to look for a track in my library. What? One other issue I have is how the program sets cue points. When you manually select your cue points, sometimes the program puts them a little off from where you actually wanted it. This is 100% because the cue points have to be set where the beats are on the track's beat grid. Which is fine, I guess, but if you wanted to set a cue in between a beat, you can't. My last issue is that this program is a subscription. You can choose between the standard plan, which is $17 a month, or you can upgrade to the pro plan, which is $39 a month. Both plans include all of the library management features, the library conversion feature, and access to the phone app. The pro plan includes cloud library backup and unlimited cloud storage. Overall, Lexicon DJ is pretty awesome. It's a really good tool to help keep your library in check. My favorite part of the program is the ability to convert libraries to almost any other DJ software. I also really love how easy it makes finding new music. If your music library is out of control, then I highly recommend Lexicon to help you get it back where it should be. But viewers, leave it to you. Do you need Lexicon DJ to help you get your library in check? Leave it in the comments. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of videos going over the tech that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.